hello guys welcome once again to another episode of my videos i'm just so excited to be here today talking to you all because i've realized that a lot of you are now commenting and trying to interact with me in the comment section okay so that is something that i really want today i'll be doing something a little different um it's not the normal top 10 or top 5 reasons to invest or the top business ideas so i want to be talking about the five or the top five money beliefs right that is just so limiting i mean you know we all become our thoughts right we become what we think but there are just some beliefs that we have nurtured or grown with they told us this when we were small and then right now that we are kind of like big and matured we still have this belief that is limiting us from actually becoming wealthy or becoming successful or making a lot of money okay so beliefs about money that is kind of like limiting okay so that is what i'll be talking about in this video today ladies and gentlemen my name is rofo chifu mbunku i've never told you the third name i always say rofo chifu yeah mbunku is the third name right and i am the ceo founder of hr and systems limited for a very long time now i help a lot of people get started on the african continent with business plan writing with consultancy and so many other services okay so if you are looking at starting your business in Africa then you can always contact us on this channel and we are going to support you do that okay so don't move a muscle I'll be right back after the break let's talk about the limiting beliefs that we have that's kind of like holding us back don't move a muscle I'll be right back after the break Hello guys, hello my business in Africa YouTube community. My name is Rufo Chifo. I always talk about the best business ideas to invest in Africa. And I have been having a lot of questions from investors like you asking me which African country should I invest in? I therefore decided to create this. If you are an investor and you want to invest in Africa, then you need this tool. Click on the links in the description box below and download your own copy. Welcome back guys, welcome back to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and I hope you already subscribed, right? Yeah, you didn't subscribe, what are you waiting for? Please, punch the subscribe button right now, in fact, I always give 5 seconds and I'm going to count down, I want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel, okay? I want you to be part of the community, now let's count down, 5, 4, 3, have you clicked? two one and zero i guess you clicked already right because i know you want to be part of the business in africa community okay smash that button and of course no no it's not your time for, for you to give me thumbs up okay it's not your time you're going to hear what i have to say before you give me thumbs up right so let's go now to the first belief right the first limiting belief about money yes the first one about money is the fact that Money is the root of all evil. <laughs> have you, like, like seriously, have you heard this phrase before? I mean, we in Africa, I mean, we hear this all the time that money is the root of all evil. Come on, guys. Come on. That's what the poor man's mentality, or that's the poor man's mentality. That's what we think, the poor people. They think that money is the root of all evil. That if you have more money, you are going to just attract all the evil in the world. Guys, that is a big lie. I'm going to tell you this today. If you are a religion freak, if you are a Christian or a Muslim, and you have your kind of religion that you believe in, but if they've ever told you that money is the root of all evil, then let me tell you this today. That is a poor man's mindset. It means that you are just limiting yourself. How can you come to think that money is the root of all evil? On the contrary, what the rich think is, with money, you can do more good. Like seriously, imagine you being broke and you have just like 1,000 francs CFA in your account. And imagine you having 1 billion francs in your account. Think about it. The person with 1 billion can change more lives. You can do more charity. You can do more good in the world. So how is evil connected to making more money? I don't get it like seriously so that is one of the beliefs that we have and we've grown with that is limiting us from really getting rich so if you're having that kind of belief then start changing it right if you I mean after this video you need to start changing that belief okay now the second belief that is really limiting us is the fact that more money more problems <laughs> 
more money more problems we think that um you just have to remain poor right you have to remain broke because if you have more money you're going to have i mean us in africa that is one of the things that we have been told and we grow up thinking that hey i don't just want to have more money i don't want more trouble because if i have more money i'm going to have more problems that is a fat lie guys that is a fat lie if you've been thinking that in the past stop from today there is nothing like more money i mean let me ask you this question now if you're broke will your problems go away that's the question so if you have 100 billion and you have 1 billion where how 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 would you have how are you going to have more problems on the contrary the rich think that when they have more money they can use that money to solve their problems <laughs> come to think of it your mother is sick and you can't take your mom to the hospital because you are broke right you can't afford it and imagine that you have 100 billion in your account and you can afford to take your mom to the hospital so have you not used the money to solve that problem so where is this thing more money more problem coming from that's a lie fat one fat lie now the third point is the fact that um what do you always say eh? money can't buy happiness <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you guys have heard this so many times money can't buy happiness that is another fat lie guys Money can't buy happiness. Can poverty buy happiness? Question. So if you're broke, can you buy happiness when you're broke? Let me tell you this. With money, you can make the condition inducive, like your environment more inducive that you can be happy. See, the, the, the mechanism of being happy is completely different from the mechanism of making money. It has nothing to do, okay? These are two different things. You can still be broke and unhappy. Likewise, you can still be rich and unhappy. So why don't just be rich and unhappy if you want to, if you want to say that. So what I'm trying to say is that it's, it's a belief that when you, uh, um, um, because money can't buy problems, so you're not, you're not supposed to have money, that's a lie. You need to be rich. Because when you're rich instead, you can make your environment more conducive to be happier. You understand? For example, if you're rich, you can easily go to, uh, to Florida, you can go to, to Zanzibar and have fun, okay? Now, you're making your environment or you're making your life better, okay? And you can easily be happy when you do the things that you want to do in life, right? And you easily do them. But if you're broke, you start thinking, how, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? And of course, you become stressed and depressed and that has nothing to do, okay? And you're afraid to have more money because you're afraid that you will not be able to buy happiness with that. That is a lie. Guys, let's go to lie number four or limiting beliefs number four about money. Hey, but before I do this, remember I just launched these two ebooks, right? They are right now on Amazon Kindle. I want to say thank you for those who've already downloaded. But if you're watching my video and you have not yet downloaded my, my books on Amazon Kindle, then I don't know what you're doing, guys. Please click on the links in the description box below. I'm going to put them in the description box below. You're going to find it there. The links are there. You just need to click, go to Amazon Kindle, and download these books. It doesn't cost anything. Just $9.9. .9. That's all, okay? We have... Um, the first one is here, the unique business ideas for every African country, which you're going to find very exciting businesses that you can do in each African country, 54 of them, is right here in this book. And then we have the second one, the, this, the African Business Startup Brain Box, okay? The African Business Startup Brain Box is a book where you can, you're going to find all the procedures for creating your company, like registration procedures, um, documents required. Uh, you're going to also find the estimated cost that's required and the estimated time to register your companies in every African country for $9.9. .9. Head on to Amazon Kindle and download that right now. And while you do that, let's go to point number four on the limiting belief uh, number four that we have um, that's limiting us from like succeeding or gaining financial freedom is the fact that you need money to start a business. I know it's, let, let me break it down because I know when we say this, some people say, oh, motivational speakers, they'll tell you I started my, my, my pottery, my multi-million dollar pottery today with one egg. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? Of course, you need money to start business, but what I'm trying to say is, if you have the belief that it's only when you have money that you can start business, then you can be poor for life because really what you need to get started in any business 
is your idea that's the first thing i don't need any money to think okay you don't need any money to come up with a good concept you don't need any money to look for a solution to a problem in the world you don't need any money i always say this in africa we have so much problems okay africa is poor we have problems we have this but at the same time sorry it's not really poor as i said what i'm saying is we have a lot of issues okay but we have limited our minds that I don't have money to get started, so I'm not going to start. That is a limiting belief. First thing is, what solution can I bring to the problems that we have in Africa? Okay, that's the first thing. If you can come up, if you can come up with a solution, then money will come later. There are always going to be people who are willing to invest in all the projects. Think it and that is where it starts. You don't need money to think, right, do you? So that's a limiting belief. Think it, think how the, pro the project can, can make money, think how you can, you can get capital, think how you can sell it, think, just think and put it together in a business plan or in a project feasibility study, that is the first step and that is all what you need to get started, okay? So remove that thing that you've been thinking that, oh I don't have money so I cannot do this kind of business. Even if you want to do a business for 100 billion dollars, you are going to find it if you have the right idea, the right mindset, the right project in your head. You're you're going to have that and you don't need to pay anybody to to think okay so take that out of the way and get out there and be financially free now let's go to the fifth and the last points about money now the fifth and the last point is that we think that some people in the world were born rich or they were born with the golden spoon yes it's true that some people are born into rich families and all of that but if you are broke then it's it's you've decided to stay broke even if you're born in a broke family you can get rich we have so many um, um success stories from grass to grace right so many success stories they just had to change the way they think and one of the first thing is to change this belief that you have about money that money was not meant for us and my family it was not meant for my tribe it's is the family case that have to make money that's not us it's not us we're not meant to make money that is a lie it's a limiting belief that's that's limiting you from actually breaking through your financial freedom okay everybody they hold the the earth as we see the world the, 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 this this nature this 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 earth this world right can make all of us billionaires we just need to change the way we think thinking that money was made for some people and not you is already limiting you from getting that financial freedom okay so guys those were my five limiting reasons why i think uh, limiting beliefs that a lot of us have that's limiting us from actually having a financial breakthrough and if you enjoyed that video give me a thumbs up right remember I told you that if you enjoy it anyways maybe you don't or if you didn't um, check out the other videos they're right here click here I mean yeah suggested videos you're going to find my videos there or you go down to the description link you're going to find more of my videos and just click it and watch i'm sure if you watch the other one you're going to give me the thumbs up but if you like this video give me thumbs up right now and guys don't go away without commenting okay i usually do videos um what you people request i do videos what you guys request okay so comment because I'm going to pick up your comments and I'm going to do a video in response to your comments, okay? Give me a thumbs up and don't forget guys to subscribe. I already asked you in the beginning to subscribe. So please, please, please do that right now, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep watching all the tons of videos on my channel, okay? I love Africa and I hope you do too. One love, bye-bye. See you in my next video.